Hey there! Happy Friday, everybody! How we doing out there? How we doing? How we doing? Gosh, we're Friday again, you guys! Who's ready for the weekend? Yay, we are, we are. So what do we know out there? What do we know out there? We'll let everybody give everybody a few minutes to pop on here. So can you think what we're going to talk about a little bit today? Oh, some fun things out there. We've got some fun things coming in, y'all. Uh, first, wish all the teams playing some football tonight. We got some Friday night lights going tonight. I uh, want to wish all the area teams good luck. I think DeHennis is playing a rare Friday night game. So we wore a vintage uh, DeHennis t-shirt that came from the Mercantile. Yeah, yeah. Y'all know this is Heather out here at Main Street Mercantile. Uh, so we were going to kind of pop around and give y'all a sneak peek of maybe some Halloween. Uh, you guys, normally we, um, restock the pumpkins like two and three times. This year, we have got Christmas coming in up to our eyeballs in the back, y'all. It is coming in like crazy, and then some things are still kind of crazy to get. So, um, when these pumpkins and things roll out, we're going to roll Christmas early. It is, you know, there's just not enough room out here. So, we are going to go Christmas probably earlier than we ever have. Um, just because we don't have any more room, y'all. We got a pallet of Christmas last week, y'all. It is up to our eyeballs in the back. So we were just going to, um, show you some of the fall. Um, if you haven't, um, been out, come out. There is a lot to give you some fall inspiration. We've got a lot of LED things. We just got some cute little mini pumpkin lights. Uh, of course, we've still got game day. We've got lots of game day. We have quite a few of the rock and roll repeat tea that we have for the cowboys and the owls and the panther cats um so any of that uh, if you still need some game day we've still got some really cute earrings we've got hats all the things and of course we have the collegiate we have a lot of the layered the really soft embroidered tops um and a lot of the collegiate colors we've got an austin kind of color uh, howdy tops and um so we've got all that too but we're just going to kind of pop you around, start giving y'all a taste of Halloween. Let's get going here and show y'all some of the things we've got for Halloween. This one's been really popular. Of course, in October, we wear pink. We like the pink leopard pumpkins there. Um, y'all, we've talked about the blue jeans. So this is some of the, Ju the Judy blue jeans we've got in stock. Um, they have just a, a light distress at the bottom, kind of a tapered fit. Um, they are relaxed. Uh, so, like I said, this one's got just a, a slight distress at the very bottom, a little bit lighter of a wash, and then this one's a little bit darker. So, uh, they are all, I think they both have some, uh, they all both have a lot of stretch in there. So, we just wanted to show y'all those. We've got some cute stretchy jeans. Um, have we talked about the cute witchy jack-o'-lantern there we love that one that's kind of fun bunch of hocus pocus y'all know they're re-releasing the movie fun we're really excited about that we've got some cute uh, little bracelets that are in all the fun colors we've got them in several colors actually uh the bright orange with hocus pocus or the black some spooky bats lots of fun earrings like i said look at those that say boo with the little ghost um, some turkeys, just some classics there. Those are some classics, right? All the fall colors. We love the multicolored tassels. So some of these are just fun fall. Um, I think that's the last pair of the little leopard pumpkins. How about those that have the little be kind leopard rainbow stud set? So that, all the things y'all, all the things. So look at this cute guy. How cute is he? Sitting here and he has a little sign that says fall. All the cute tees and y'all, they're going crazy. They're going fast. So uh, you can check all the t-shirts are online. That's www.mainstreethondo.com. Um, so you can kind of check size availability. We try to put the t-shirts on there right away so everybody can kind of check, see what's going on. Uh, we also have some fun uh, readers. Um, we've got them in three. They come with a case, so we've got them in three strengths. Um, and then they're, they're super cute. The leopard ones are really cute. Let me see if I can open it with one hand, y'all. 
um, the polka dot, the hound's tooth, but they're really cute. I like to have some cute readers. How about that? There we go. I think I've got them out there. So, oh, just some cute, cute, like, so they come with a case. Hopefully keeps them together a little bit longer. Uh, this is, so our Halloween baskets are starting to come in. Uh, these all light up. Uh, we've got some fun, no, I'm sorry. This, the, the, see if I put, yes. So this is a unicorn, uh, basket for their candy to put their candy in. How cute is that? We were talking the other day that anything with lights at Halloween is good. That kind of keeps them more visible, right? Uh, we've got so many fun things coming in. So we've got, uh, some masks that light up and I think they're going to be like $9. So all things spooky are coming in out here. We've talked about these light up bracelets. Again, just something that makes them more visible when they're out there after dark. We like this big ghost. How cute is he? Uh, so that's kind of a, another candy bag, something you can put some goodies in if you're going to see the kids. Uh, there's a cute jack-o'-lantern bag. All the fun things. We got some spooky scarves with some spider webs and some gold. We talked about the gold leopard hat. We like leopard. Everybody likes leopard. But these these are just some cute candy bags. But you know they make fun. So if you got to take some gifts, um, just something fun to take take the kids a little something goody in. And then they got a cute treat bag. That would just look cute on your front table or something too, right? Super cute. Super cute. So all the new metal stuff has come in. We've got all the fun new metal. We've got some big candy cane topiaries. Um, so we've got it in the smaller uh, posts there. So that would look cute, you know, by your fireplace, by your front door. But that would also fit in the big tall post. If you have the big tall, tall post, it would also fit in there. This is actually one of the newer bases, so it doesn't screw on there. It just slides, that post slides on in there. Some Hey Boo, we've got some Hey Boo t-shirts. Uh, we like these little blocks. So have you seen the blocks? Uh, we've got them in a fall and then also Halloween, but we like those, they're really fun if you have one of the layered tiered trays. So you can kind of layer some pumpkins and scary things in there, but, but then this has all six sides, all kinds of things on there, a jack-o'-lantern face. Happy Halloween, that funny cat. That is a funny cat, isn't it? Trick or treat. You know, we try not to do anything just too, too scary, just kind of fun. Uh, but those are fun. And then we also have it in a fall version. Oops, I knocked this, the little <laughs> pumpkin gnome. How cute is he? He's got his broom there with his pumpkin hat on, striped legs. But so then that says, hello, fall. It's got a pretty sunflower. You can just kind of change it around. They look cute stacked. We've got a pretty uh, fall maple leaf on there. Hello, fall. So those are easy easy to decorate, put around, set out on the island. Uh, lots of metal. Uh, these new metal faces, how cute is he? Uh, we've got some little, little ones. Look at that, that's a little cat. There's some small pumpkins. Um, the cats come with their, their little witch hats. I think they've got three different colors. So there's a big funny frog. He actually goes with the witch. There's a big tall cat. Uh, this uh, ghost, he actually would sit cute on a shelf or on a table. We've got him on a stake there. You know, most of these things all come with two stakes. So you can, you can still put them in one of these bases. You can put them in a fern right by your front door. You can put them in a picture stand. How cute is she? Too funny. So these trucks, um, trucks have been crazy popular. So this is, uh, we have it in a charm, uh, but, but then we also have it, they've made them in a large size this year, which has been really fun. The Christmas one, I can tell you guys, is gonna be really cute too. Uh, but that, that hangs, again, it has, it will stand on its own in and amongst your pumpkin patch. Looks real cute in there. Or then you can also, um, just like I said, put it on a stake in your 
fern or a, a plant or something you've got out on the front porch too. Um, like I said, or it'd be cute sitting by your fireplace, something, something fun. How about that? That little batty pumpkin. And we've talked about the charms, I think. So here we've changed the wreath out. We need to change the bow and um, put a Halloween bow on there. So, but then we've got some magnets. We've got the Halloween magnets on there. You have a cute little bat garland to set the stage that, you know, looks cute on a mantle. And this is one of the bigger frames. If you've got one of the bigger frames that says trick or treat, but we also have it in a smaller version of the charms. And we've got one little truck lantern. Cute as this. This is also a light up lantern. Uh, it's cute. Got spooky jack-o'-lanterns on there. Uh, both of these have a timer. So turn them on at about six o'clock whenever you think it's going to get dark. Uh, they will come on for six hours. It will sleep for 18 hours. Come back on at that time. We love those because then you don't have to remember to turn them back on. All the things. We love this set of jack-o'-lanterns. So that's really made uh, as one of the truck inserts. So if you have one of the little red or black trucks outside. Super cute. But then again, it would look cute on an island or something with some smaller pumpkins around it. We have a big pile of candy, so the candy is also made to fit in the trucks, if you've got one of those little trucks. That's one of the newer newer pieces that came this year. How about this cute little candy dish? So it's got a ghost and a jack-o'-lantern, comes with a little wooden tray, wooden spoon, candy corn, some really cute, cute things, yes. <laughs> Sherry Growl says gnomes, yes, yes, we've got... Did we talk about Count Dracula gnome? He's pretty cute. And we have a candy corn gnome. They are crazy. We So we put all the gnomes that we have in this uh, big dough bowl. And we started laughing. We said they kind of look like they're in a big boat. They need a oar. It looks like they're paddling somewhere to go somewhere. Uh, but too funny. So we've got some with some little bats on their hats. And he's pretty cute with the black and white check. And he says boo on his little banner there. So lots of fun gnomes. We got the gnomes covered. Uh, we've got these 10. This is a set. So it is, we've just got a, a string of Christmas lights wrapped around in there, some twinkle lights. So it is a set for two. I think it's $69.97 for the big orange one and then a smaller cream white one. Lots of fun stuff. Lots of flags, so if you need a garden flag, we've got your garden flags. All the Halloween ones. And we've had a couple people ask, they want to hang them inside. So I don't know if you've seen, this is a just a little banner pole so that you can, I think it's $9. And so then you can hang that in an entryway or somewhere to kind of set the stage for Halloween and have it inside if you want to enjoy your flag inside. So a lot of fun stuff. We kind of included these sunflowers because they're kind of a purpley color. They're kind of a, a Halloween-ish color. Those are solar, so those will come on at night as soon as it gets dark. But then we have, that's another uh, candy corn steak. Again, just fun. So that would match your, your topiaries that we have over there. They look just cute, piled around, but we've just got cats and funny witch hats and then here's one here's a cat in a witch shoe witchy shoe but you know you can just stick that like i said in the planner on the front door i don't remember what this witch's name oh this is zelda yes but not too scary these are not too scary we talked about this big giant jack-o'-lantern with the witch hat how cute is that super cute look cute by the mantle, by the fireplace. Uh, you guys, the the holiday mats are going like crazy. So uh, we are about out of Halloween doormats. So if you need a Halloween doormat, get out here and come take a look because we have, they're going quick. I think everybody's in the mood for a change. Everybody's ready. Uh, we've gotten all the, the fall pumpkins in. You guys, we have this autumn gathering. That's always a real popular fall candle for us. And we have just gotten a hand soap in that. So you can just kind of keep that going, keep the whole scent 
going. We love these little crocs. So these are a good size cup. You can see how good size my hand is there. And then we've got a, a smaller version too and all the fun scents. Y'all, this roasted espresso smells amazing. Spiced orange uh, cinnamon, that's one of our favorites. Cinnamon buns, all the things. We just like them all, we just like them all. Uh, but we do have a leather. Uh, the leather is always really popular. And of course we all have the lavender and lemongrass, citrus and sage are a few of the everyday scents that we have in those. We talk about the dog costumes. Uh, so who this one we've got on the pilgrim outfit. So you just change those out. Uh, he's got his witch hat costume on, all set. And here's a sneak peek of what some of the Christmas ones are. Uh, so that's the elf outfit. And this is another one where he's carrying a whole pile of uh, some presents and then wears a little bow on his head. All the fun things, all the fun things. I also, look, the unicorn is still going over there. It's pretty cute. We also just got a new batch of the poopery. So <clears throat> we really like the scent of this. This is kind of new. So it's kind of an all purpose for the air and for the fabric. So you can spray that uh, for an air freshener in there. And we just got it in this pumpkin spice. And I would say it's kind of got maybe a more sweeter smell. It's not a real spicy smell. It's not a real strong one. Uh, we, we really like it. We really like this, this scent. So if you like to spray some pumpkin spice around in the house, you know, we uh, like to spray. I personal pet peeve is we, we make these wreaths and I, I don't like the way burlap smells. So I like to spray the wreath with some of this so I don't smell that burlapy smell. Um, so lots of fun things out here, you guys. Have y'all been out? If you're ready for a little fall inspiration, come out and come, come browse around. I wanted to show you these little lights. These little pumpkin lights just came in. And they also have a timer so you're easy to put on a shelf and have a little interest. Fun at night. This little tractor uh, shelf sitter there, super cute. But then he also reverses to Christmas on the back side. Gotta love that. So you guys know the routine. We gotta get the Merc open. It's time for us to get going around here. So we just wanted to kind of give y'all a little taste of Halloween today. We wanna turn y'all around. Good luck to all the football guys tonight. Thank y'all for going with us. Happy Friday.